Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 2.4. This release was focused mainly on the new Conditions feature. The Conditions feature allows you to conditionally display any oxygen element based on virtually any other value. This allows you to do things like show specific content or elements to users who are logged in and different content or elements to users who are logged out. There's also a lot more you can do with it. So I'm going to show you a quick example of a kind of member dashboard setup where you have a dashboard for users who are logged in, but a sign-in prompt for users that are logged out. So let's jump into the editor and take a look at what I've already set up. So here's the user dashboard area. It just has a few buttons to click, the user's name, which is dynamically populated. And if we scroll down, we'll see the sign-in section. So this is all within the same page, but we're going to show each section conditionally based on whether the user is logged in or logged out. So to do that, let's select the element that we want to conditionally display, which in this case will be this section. And at the top of the properties pane, click the new conditions icon just left of the link icon. That will bring up the conditions menu. Here we have a few options. We can choose to have an and condition type, an or condition type, and we can choose how the condition is previewed in the builder. Always hide is useful if you want to see what it looks like when the element will be hidden. Show and hide based on conditions is good for testing, but in this case we're going to use always show. Now let's click set conditions and we'll add our first condition. So you can add multiple conditions to each element and if you choose the and condition type then all of the conditions must evaluate to true in order for the element to be displayed on the front end. If you choose the or condition type then only one of the conditions must evaluate to true and then the element will be shown on the front end. So for this case, we only need one condition. So we'll get rid of these extras and we'll use the left hand drop down to choose the condition. This is basically what we want to check against. So we'll go down to the user category conditions and choose user logged in. The middle drop down is for our operator. This is how we compare whether the user is logged in or not to the desired value. So in this case, we want the user logged in value to equal true. And just like that, this element will only be shown to users who are logged in. To show you how that works, we will grab the URL and we'll jump into an incognito window here, which will simulate the user being logged out. Paste that in here. And you can see we have the sign in prompt. And that works pretty well, but we only want to show the sign in prompt if the user is logged out. We don't want logged in users seeing this section. So let's jump back over here and we'll scroll down to the sign in section and select it. And we'll follow kind of the same steps. We'll hit the condition settings icon, click set conditions. We'll add a condition, choose user logged in equals false. So now these two sections will never be shown alongside each other because you can't be logged in and logged out at the same time. This gives us an exclusive content layout based on the context of the user's session. So let's save this and then we'll jump into the front end here and refresh to see we're a logged in user and we have our dashboard but nothing else. Now let's jump into an incognito window and test that out and of course this is going to work perfectly because it already did we have a sign in prompt and not our user dashboard so that's basically how to work with conditions in oxygen we have a number of conditions registered for you to use as you can see from this drop down these should cover most of your bases but the best thing is if those don't cover what you need we have actually included a conditions API that allows you to register your very own conditions for whatever you want. That's why we say that the conditions feature lets you conditionally display elements 
based on virtually any value that's accessible in WordPress. So let's take a look at how the API works. This is an advanced feature and we recommend that you have a little bit of experience with PHP to work with it, but it's a really easy syntax to get used to and we have documentation showing you exactly how to create a condition, evaluate it, and then use it in Oxygen. So let's go ahead and set up a custom condition using the API. I'm going to jump back to the admin panel and show you what I've already set up here. I have an Oxygen template which will apply to all of my pages. And in that template, I have an element that's pulling some data from an advanced custom field to display a notice bar across the top of the page. Here you can see it's right across there. It's a black bar with some dynamic data here. And this dynamic data will be pulled from a banner notice field that's present on every page. So the problem with that is, if we have a page that's using this template, such as our conditions page, which we were just working with, then that bar will always be shown, regardless of whether there's any content in our notice banner field. So let's look at the front end. The field's empty, but the notice banner is still being shown, and we don't want that. So this is a perfect scenario to use a custom condition to check if an ACF field has any data and then conditionally output some oxygen element based on how that turns out. So let's jump over here and we're going to go ahead and register that condition. This can be done either via a custom plugin if you're comfortable writing your own plugin or you can use the code snippets plugin which I've already installed and it's available on the WordPress repo. Let's go ahead and jump into here and I have a custom condition snippet that I've set up. Now all oxygen conditions follow a very simple formula. First you want to check if the oxygen underscore VSB underscore register underscore condition function exists. The reason we need to check for this is to make sure that we don't call a function that's not there because that generally will cause problems on your site. So we'll do if function exists Oxygen VSB register condition. And then if that works out and that function is around for us to use, we'll go ahead and call it Oxygen VSB register condition. And then this function accepts several parameters, the first of which is the name of the condition. The second parameter is your options which show up in the value drop-down when setting up a condition in Oxygen. So this is an array with options which is also an array. For this we're going to leave it empty. Uh, this would be the array that you put in any predefined options you want to be able to check for and then custom. This defines whether the user can write in their own values or not and in this case we're going to set it to true. Next we have our operators. Now this condition is going to be a little unique because we're not actually going to use operators because all we want to do is make sure that the ACF field that we're checking has some data. So we're going to set this to an array and if we're not using operators I like to use double dashes Next, we're going to name the function we'll use to evaluate this condition. So all the data we pass through this oxygen VSB register condition function will then be passed to the callback function and used to evaluate the condition. So we'll call this ACF field not empty callback. And then we're going to categorize this, which is this final parameter under ACF which is not already a category, so it'll be created in the dropdown. Great, so we've registered our condition, but now we need to handle it and make it do what it's supposed to do when we use it. So now we'll create our function, the callback function that we just named, which is ACF field not empty callback, and we need to pass in value and operator. Those are the two pieces of data that normally are used for conditions to be evaluated. We're going to say if 
get field value then return true so if this function returns true the element will be shown if it returns false it will not be shown so we want it to return true when what we're looking for happens so in this case the field which has been typed into the value field in oxygen's conditions has some data if it doesn't have data return false and the element will be hidden so we have documentation that's far more extensive on how to set up conditions but this is just a brief overview and for this case we're actually completely done registering a custom condition that checks whatever field we pass to it for data and hides an element if that field doesn't have data so let's save this snippet and then we're going to jump over to our template and remember we have this black bar on this page because there's nothing in the ACF field to populate the text element that's in this black bar so we want to make sure we hide that with our new condition because there's nothing in there so we'll edit the main template and we need to select our notification bar and go to conditions set conditions add a condition and then we're going to look for our new condition that we've set up which is this ACF field not empty and then for the custom value we'll type the name of the field that we want to check for data so in this case it is called notice underscore banner so that is pretty much all we need to do we'll save that and then we'll jump over to conditions and refresh the page and you'll see that that banner is now being hidden because there's no data. Now let's add some data to the notice banner field. And let's update that. And then let's jump into the front end. And you can see the element is now shown because the field's no longer empty. Now the beauty of this is that that condition was applied in a template. That template applies to all the pages on this site. So we don't have to go through to each page and add this condition because it's being done using Oxygen's templating system. The conditions combined with the conditions API is a very powerful tool that allows you to create truly dynamic content and layouts depending on the context of a user session, the state of your site. You can even check the cookies list. If you check the cookies list for a particular cookie that you registered on some other page, you can then show an element to a user but only if they visited that page. So then you have behavioral context as well. So with this new feature, you'll be able to create incredibly powerful and dynamic sites using only Oxygen and very few other plugins, if any. So in addition to the conditions feature and the conditions API, we've of course corrected many bugs and continued to tweak and polish existing features. You can find a full change log of the changes between 2.3 and 2.4 on our blog. Again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. That's what's new in Oxygen 2.4, and thank you for watching.